Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Ken. Today is May 16, 2021. This is my first episode about Qt6 and the 3D graphics using Vulkan. In this episode, we will install Qt6 on Windows. If you haven't installed Qt6 or Qt5, you don't need to remove your existing installation. But I installed older version and I want to remove my previous Qt installation. Before we remove Qt installation, search environ edit the system environment variables in the system variables section if you scroll down you can find the Qt dir if you find this environment variable, it means you installed Qt previous version. Also, in the user variable section, you probably can find Qt ms build. These environment variables might be fixed. Now, OK. Click OK. Start. Visual Studio, go to Extension, Manage Extension, select Installed, scroll down. If you can find the Qt Visual Studio tools, uninstall it. Click Yes. Close, close. Then Qt Visual Studio tool will be removed. Now close it. If you start Visual Studio again, go to Extensions, Manage Extensions, Installed. If you scroll down, you cannot find the Qt Visual Studio tools here. Now close it. Close it. Right click. Search. Environ. Edit the system environment variables. Environment variables. If you scroll down. Edit. Copy C drive user Thomas Kim app data local view hidden app data local Qt MS build Qt MS build We can remove this. Also, we will delete. Now close. Click OK. Now search again. Add or remove programs. I will remove Android Studio. Uninstall. Yes. Android user settings. I will uninstall all. Yes. Close. Scroll down. Select Qt. Uninstall. Uninstall. Yes. Next. Uninstall only. Next. Uninstall. Click Finish. Scroll up. I will remove Java 8. If you use Java, don't remove it. Yes. 
I will also remove Java SE Development Kit. Uninstall it. Now close it. Environment Search Environ Edit System Environment Environment Variables Scroll down. I will delete this variable. Delete. Also, I will remove Java Home. Click OK. Click OK. We have to reboot our machine. My current session continues after rebooting my machine. I've just rebooted my machine. C drive, view, hidden items, DEB soft. We don't need this. I will delete. If you are creating Android application, you should not remove this. Now, start your web browser. Download Qt. Get Qt download now. Scroll down. Download for open source user. Go open source. Scroll down. Download Qt online installer. Scroll down, download, show in folder, double click it, you have to sign up. Registration is free, put your password, click next. I'm an individual person not using Qt for any company. I have read and approved the obligation of using open source Qt. Click next. Click next. Disable sending UCG statistics in Qt creator. Click next. Select custom installation. Click next. Select Qt. 6.1 We will not select Android. I think these are good enough. Click Next. I have read and agreed to the terms contained in the license agreement. Click Next. Click Next. Click Install. It will take some time. Please be patient. Now, installation is completed. Click Finish. Qt Creator started. Close it. Now, copy this file, cut, paste it in a safer place. We can use this installer later to add or remove features to existing installation. Right click, search, environ, edit system environment variables, environment variables, click new, qt, dir, browse directory, this pc, system, qt, select this folder, click ok, click ok. We need QtDIR, this system environment variables, in future sessions. Now click OK, click OK, installation completed.